evaluate the following expression in natural log. So we'll have 3 times natural log, 2 times e squared, plus 2 times natural log of 3 over e, minus natural log of 72e. First, let's review the rules for natural log. So first rule, if I take natural log of x, multiply by a constant a, I'm allowed to move the constant to the inside as an exponent. So we have a natural log of x equals natural log of x to the a. Next rule, if I have natural log of a product, I can write that as a sum of the natural logs. So if we have natural log of x times y, it's equal to natural log of x plus natural log of y. Next rule, same idea, natural log of a quotient is equal to the difference of the natural logs. So natural log of x over y equals natural log of x minus natural log of y. Then finally, we're going to have that natural log of e is equal to 1. So if we take any logarithm, put the base in, a 1 comes out. Now, first method, we're going to expand everything. Now, let's go through term by term, see what happens. So for my first term, I want to expand natural log 2e squared. So we have a product on the inside, so I can write that as natural log of 2 plus natural log of e squared. Put it in parentheses, we pick up the 3 later on. Next term, okay, we have 2 natural log 3 over e. I'm going to write the natural log 3 over e as natural log of 3 minus natural log of e. Put it in parentheses, pick up the 2 for later on. And then finally, I'll have minus natural log 72e. So natural log 72e is going to be natural log of 72 plus natural log of e. Parentheses, put the minus sign on the outside for later on. So that gets me to this step here. So we're just going to go through term by term and just expand away to see what we get left with. So first, we're having 3 natural log of 2. Then for this term here, we're going to have a 3 out in front, but note I can turn natural log e squared into 2 natural log of e. I can bring that exponent down to the front. So it's going to give me a 6 natural log of e. Next term, 2 natural log of 3. Okay, and then the term after that's going to be, okay, we have a natural log of e, which becomes 1. So I have a minus 1, and then I hit it with a 2. So I get a minus 2. Then we'll just have natural log of 72, picks up a minus sign. Then again, we have a natural log of e, picks up a minus sign to give me a minus 1. Okay, let's collect natural log of integers. So what we're going to do is, in this case, we're going to push the 3 and the 2 to the inside. So for this term, we'll get a natural log of 2 cubed or natural log of 8. For this term, I'm going to have natural log of 3 squared or natural log of 9. And then we have a minus natural log of 72. So that's going to be all my terms with natural log of integers. For the other terms, let's see what happens. Okay, here we're going to have 6 natural log of e. Natural log of e is going to be equal to 1, so we get a 6. Then I pick up the minus 2 and the minus 1. So these three terms are going to collapse to a 3. On this side, we have natural log of 8, natural log of 9. Okay, that's a sum, so we can combine as a product on the inside gives me natural log of 72. Then we subtract by natural log 72, gives me a zero. So what's left over is just gonna be a three for our final answer. Now, for method two, we wanna contract. So the idea is gonna be I wanna put all of our terms under a single natural log. So let's take a look at what we have. So here I have sums and differences of natural logs. Only problem is we have these constants out in front. So we want to get rid of those. The way we do that, we bring them to the inside as exponents. So in this case, take the 3, put it in the inside, we'll take 2 e squared cubed. Then here we're going to take this 2, bring it to the inside as a square. So I have 3 over e squared. Now, if we simplify these, what are we going to have? 2 cubed is 8. e squared cubed is going to be e to the 6. Here we're going to have 9 over e squared. Now if you note, there are no constants out in front, 
so we can start applying our product and quotient rules. For the first two terms, we're gonna take our sum. So I can move our terms to the inside as a product. So we'll get eight e to the six times nine over e squared. Now, if I simplify this, so if eight times nine is 72, then I have e to the six over e squared. Okay, e to the six over e squared is gonna be e to the fourth. So two ways to think of this, you can either take this e squared, where is e to the minus two, and then we add the exponents, gets me to four. Or if you're not good with exponent rules, just multiply e times itself six times, e squared is e times e, cancel, you're left with e to the fourth. Okay, so what's left? We have natural log 72e to the fourth minus natural log 72e. I can use my quotient rule. So we'll combine our terms as a quotient. Then you'll note the 72s go away, and then I'm left with e to the fourth over e. Okay, same line of reasoning gets me to e cubed. So we have natural log of e cubed. I can bring this exponent to the front, and then natural log of e is equal to one. We wind up getting a three, and that's gonna check our method one.